How's everyone today? How are you guys all doing? Good, huh? All right. We're so glad to have a big group today and have Abby. We have a special visitor, Abby. And is it Christine? Christina. Christina. And um, I want to ask parents, did you, are you guys all on our Facebook page? Is that how? You guys are finding out, we're just making sure it's out there. Yes. And we're, we're doing our job. I'm Naomi, and uh, Monica is somewhere. Right here. I remember you from church. That's right, Olivia. That's Monica, and then Debbie ran out to get more snacks, because we're a bigger group than we expected, which is good. That's what we like. And so uh, the three of us organize this, the third month, the third Friday of each month, and it just switched from 2 p.m. because the school started at 10 a.m. We weren't sure how, but it looks like it's going to do well. We have lots of fun things planned with the holidays coming up. So we want to thank you for being here and take it away. Okay. Hi, everybody. As you know, this is Abby. She is a Cayuga duck. She is three years old. And she's wearing a diaper so that she doesn't poop everywhere. And she's wearing little booties so that way that she doesn't get a cut on her foot. Because if they get a cut on their feet, it goes into an, a bad infection. And we don't want that. And she also loves people, as you guys can tell. And how many of you seen a duck egg before? Okay. <laughs> Well, this is one of Abby's eggs. It's bigger than a chicken egg. And she knows there's peas in there. This is what a duck egg looks like. And their tr favorite treats uh, for ducks are peas, watermelon, fruits, vegetables. Um, don't feed them bread. Bread, um, it stays in their, in their stomach and gives them a stomach ache. So you don't feed them bread. So pea, frozen peas and watermelon cut up, grapes cut up are a good substitute for them. So if you ever go to the park, the horse thief park and see the ducks, make sure you bring those treats instead. Do you guys have any questions before I start this morning? Yes. Hi, Tracy. I'm Tracy. different things. 
And these are pictures of the different things like the baker and the, the mailman. That would be a uh, train station, Grand Central Station in New York. But no matter what they did, these people were world famous for their liveliness. They talked to each other everywhere, in elevators, on subways, in restaurants. They would gather in little groups on the street corners and tell each other jokes or discuss the daily news of their city and laugh uproariously. They yelled, sang, and generally had a good time. They looked each other in the eye and pretty much liked what they saw. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> then an invention came into their lives. It was a new version of an old invention. It was a telephone. But you didn't have to put in a quarter to go somewhere special to use it. Parents know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, you could carry it in your pocket, or purse, or backpack. And with this telephone, any question you could think of could be answered. Any song could be heard, any person on earth could be found. And most important, it was a camera. So we're talking about cell phones. And you could photograph anything and everything, especially yourself. And everybody really liked that. It wasn't long before everyone in the city had one. I bet you guys know some people who have a phone like this. You might even have one yourself. In a very short time, people were not the same. All of them were bent over the small screen in their hand. It was as if nothing else existed. Then, oh, I skipped the page. Then one day, something happened that changed many people in the city, maybe forever. A new bird came to town, the duck. He's a Mandarin duck. Everybody see that? Yeah, so we're going to see how the duck changed New York City for a little while. If I could turn the page. There we go. Okay. See, here's, here they are. Some more. It's like a duck race. <laughs> yeah. It says, no one had ever seen a bird like this. Many birds are very beautiful, but this was an extraordinary bird. He was a mandarin duck. When bird lovers heard he was in the pond, they ran to see him. There he is again. Everybody see that okay? Word spread about the duck, and soon people began flocking to look at him. Wouldn't you? Would you guys go and see him? Yeah. It was the most exciting thing to happen to the city in a long time. How did this duck get there? Where did he come from? And who was this duck? The crowds were immense. Everyone had their phones up, taking pictures of the Mandarin duck. Then one day, a kid in the crowd, such as yourselves, said very loudly, I'm going to see this with my own two eyes. Then she put her phone away and just watched the Mandarin duck be what he was. Something so rare that he had to be seen with your own two eyes and remembered with your heart. So the grown-ups put their phones down too and just watched. <coughs> They watched long and hard. What an effect this bird had on people. They just loved him. There he is there in the water. As the crowds left the park, they talked about what 
that they had seen with their friends and with strangers too. Little groups of people began to gather to discuss how wonderful it was to see such a rare and beautiful sight with their own two eyes. Soon after that, the people put their phones away. Their old habits returned. They talked, they laughed, and sometimes they even sang. They looked each other in the eye and pretty much liked what they saw, and all because of the Mandarin duck. But then one day, one day, what do you think happened that one day? Anybody guess what happened? No? The Mandarin duck flew away. He was only there for a little while. Everyone missed him, but, they had, but he had worked his magic. He had reminded the people in the city, the artists and the writers, the butchers, the bakers, the perfume makers, and everyone else to look at the world with their own two eyes. And if they did, they would see that all around them are rare and beautiful birds with and without feathers. That's, that's the pond where they saw him. And here's some more pictures, and that's the end. Here's some more pictures of the duck. That's the end.
Be brave for Sissy, okay? Try it. Okay. She's like, I'm going to do it. Okay, you don't have to do it. I'm going 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 to do it. I